The cost of textbooks and school supplies is one variable in the high cost of education that can be managed to some degree. However, we warn you, it can take work and time to ensure you are getting the best prices with the best conditions possible for any course aids you need to be successful. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is Textbook Acquisition 101. Depending on your major, your course list, the instructor's use of textbooks or workbooks to support their educational process, you can easily spend more than $500 a semester on books. So textbook acquisition becomes one aspect of college costs you can control. Let's start at the very beginning. You must first get the listing of textbooks or supplies you need for each class you take each semester. Most colleges now have a central location to get the list of textbooks required by the instructors. This will most likely be on your personal page on the college's website. Collect all the information you need for the coming semester. This includes the name of the author, first and last names, the title of the book, the edition of the book that will be used, and the book's ISBN number. By collecting this information, you can make sure you are chasing down the correct book. Second, you want to determine if any books are proprietary to the course, professor, or college. By that, I mean you won't be able to buy the book anywhere else except through the college or its bookstore. This may be because of a publishing agreement with the author, or it may be because you need a course code that is available as a part of the textbook purchase. You then need that number to turn in homework or to get credit for tests. If this is true of any book listed for your course, you will have to pay the amount whatever the college bookstore asks. Sorry, there are a few ways around that. Luckily, that isn't the case for most of the books you will need for your coursework. Then you need to determine if your instructors will use the books on their course list. Sometimes if there are numerous sections of the same class with different instructors, the department will create a list of books needed. Your instructor may not wish to utilize some or all of those books. To determine if you need the books, you can do one of two things. One. Write the instructor and ask if they anticipate utilizing the books on the list for their class. Or two, wait until you attend the first session of the course to find out if the instructor plans to utilize all the books on the list. Next, start checking to see if any of the books you need are available through the campus library. You may not be able to utilize the book all semester if others have the same idea, but the book's availability will offer you more time before you need to purchase or rent your textbooks. If you can access the book through the library, should an assignment be made the first day of class, you will have more time to determine what books you need to buy or rent once the instructor confirms what books you will need. So, with your list in hand, you can start deciding how you will get your textbooks. Your choices include digital copies, rentals, buying used books, and buying new books. We will mention, you may be able to Google search and find a place to get some or all of your textbooks at very reduced costs. So perhaps try that first. For digital copies, you can check online for access. Some will be available for your computer and some may be formatted for e-readers. This can be a convenient and relatively inexpensive way to access the books you need if you can study through an electronic means. When it comes to rentals, there are some great advantages to renting books. For example, when the term is over, you simply put the book in the mail back to the rental company and you are done. There is a one-time fee, and if the book is returned on time, there is no late fee. Rental prices can change vendor to vendor. The Campus Bookstore, Amazon, Chegg, and many more sellers are in the rental business, so check around for the best option for you. When it comes to buying books, you can buy new or used. New books are the most expensive form of book buying. Used tend to be more cost efficient, but you may become distracted by the markings previous owners have made in the book. You can buy used or new books from many of the same vendors who rent books. The difference is once you buy the book, you own it. You can try to sell it back to the business you bought the book from if they want to repurchase it. When trying to sell books back, make sure you do so as early in the term as you can. You see, buyers may not want the book if they think the book will not be used again or if they won't need as many copies the next term. You may be able to sell the book, you may not. 
You can also try to sell the book directly to students who may be in need come the next term. As with new cars, textbooks do lose a great deal of their value once used. For more information on businesses who rent books and services who compare prices for books from a variety of book renters and sellers, go to the Nest website linked in the description of this video. Here are a couple other notes we need to share. When determining how you will access a book and from whom, you need to make sure that the shipping time is workable for you. A week or two shipping time may be a problem if you have assignments due that utilize the book. You may be able to buddy up for the use of some textbooks. If you know and trust another student in the course or another section of the same course, you may be able to split the cost of the book and share the textbook. Just anticipate the increased use times and determine a schedule that works for both of you. The American Opportunity Tax Credit can offer tax deductions for specific education expenses. Do your research to see if you spend enough to qualify for the special deduction. As I mentioned earlier, economical book buying takes time, energy, and patience. But if you put in the work, you can save a great deal of money. If you save even $100 per term in books, that can come to $800 to $1,000 throughout your education. Get your books through renting, buying, or accessing digital copies, but make sure you have your book list covered as class starts. If you found any of this information useful, please hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.